I love having a screen tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I'm ready to roll. When my sweetheart, Stormy, took the courageous step of moving from Spokane to live with me and be my love some four years ago, she left behind a rich and vibrant lesbian community where she could be at ease and surrounded by pals who got her at work, home, and play. As both a counselor and a realist, living the lesbian Peace Corps lifestyle here in Bozeman, I knew, despite my many and varied superpowers, that I wouldn't be enough to fulfill her need for community. So I did what any crazy in love postmenopausal woman would do. I suggested we start a marching band. This idea was not as entirely kooky as it first sounds, for Stormy had already created and led the giant ass drum corps in Spokane for 11 years. And while that drum corps was open to all women, it in fact had a distinctly lesbian sensibility. I knew this was the way to make her feel at home. Imagine our surprise then when our Bozeman recruiting efforts drew just as many women who were not lesbians. Apparently women of all ilk love to get a good beat going, get raucous and take up space while stimulating neural integrity, improving memory, and enjoying a flood of natural mood elevators at the same time. In fact, women all over the world have been discovering the joys of drumming in its many forms. This only makes sense since women were the first drummers in the dawn of civilization, back before humans had the capacity for language or concepts like patriarchy, oppression, or underwires. You may have noticed our highly specialized gear. Since that cradle of civilization era, women have tended to have less available resources for fun things like music lessons and expensive instruments. And that's even more true when you're looking at a household where both wage earners are women. Financial accessibility was a must. You look in a music catalog, you're gonna be laying down more than 100 bucks to get your hands on a kind of crappy drum. But these babies, $5 for a bucket, $3 for a pair of sticks, a sewing bee to create the harnesses, and whammo, you've got your marching band. <laughs> we thought committees might lend us an air of legitimacy. Here's one crafting our mission. We celebrate the diversity, dignity, respect, and unity of the human family. We create empowering, new, and naughty ways to play together. And we shape a better world through our boisterous and bodacious bucket drumming. Though Stormy and I began this group to create lesbian community, we find that what we've created instead is a far richer and more delightful women's space than we imagined possible. Our straight sisters benefit from the rich cultural exchange and sensitivity training afforded by our off-color jokes and sloppy public displays of affection. Their husbands form our men's auxiliary, and we love having them carry our banner and playing dress up with them. Our more dykely members, meanwhile, deeply value having a space where they can wear their dip me in chocolate and throw me to the lesbians t-shirts without having to wait for the pride dance, which is only once a year. We seem to be creating a whole new landscape throughout the ages. Whenever women work together to change the racist, sexist, capitalist, death to all creative life force paradigm, we're silenced and divided by being called dykes. How powerful to stand 30 strong in the face of this baiting and reply, why thank you. <laughs> As a byproduct of our conspiracy to achieve not world domination but world healing, we do have a heck of a good time. Since our inception, we've marched in pride parades, St. Patty's Parade, and our own beloved Sweet Pea, winning most entertaining for a mid-parade magic trick that only left a few of us slightly singed around the edges. We drummed at the Roller Girls halftime show and were so excited by your excitement that three of us blew holes right through our buckets. Thank goodness they're cheap. We've offered drumming workshops at church fellowships, summer camps, elementary schools, and the Active Aging Week for Bozeman's more intrepid senior citizens. Last spring, more than a dozen of us hit the road for Seattle in a frenzied and violence-free blend of Thelma and Louise meets Driving Miss Daisy where we performed, then offered a standing room only workshop at the World Rhythm Festival. Thanks to us, little girls are whacking on oatmeal cartons with spoons all across the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> and we've marched for Take Back the Night in support of women being safe in their own streets and homes and relationships. 
we've expressed with our drums and voices the woundedness and fierce beauty of women standing up for one another, keeping each other safe, demanding a world where safety isn't an issue. We drummed for the first time this year at the Transgender Day of Remembrance, a memorial held in towns around the world. We joined our trans friends in refusing to accept in silence the fact that each year hundreds of people are murdered simply because they were born into bodies that don't align with the truth of who they are. Every Mother's Day weekend for the past three years, we've brought buckets to the Montana Women's Prison and we get those women drumming and laughing and feeling like it's okay to make a mistake, to be a beginner, to learn, to try again, to work together, to create together. But enough of my evangelizing. Let me leave you with the words of one of our drummers. Now that I'm a member of Chicks with Sticks, I regularly think about how my life has changed. I'm out and proud to all my friends and family. I've met the most wonderful people who neither judge me nor think that something's wrong because I'm gay. To know that you can be exactly who you are and have people genuinely care about you is the true meaning of the word freedom. I've never experienced this level of acceptance. I've reached for it in the past, but to be given it freely is amazing. Perhaps that's what true love is. Perhaps that's what awaits us all. Maybe I don't have the love of just one single person. I think instead that my eyes have been opened to the possibility that I am loved by many people. I haven't missed love. I just haven't seen it till now. Thank you, April. Thank you, my chicks. Thank you, Stormy. And thank you, Bozeman.